Hello guys and girls, in this video we're going to be looking at this beautiful fork and spoon. These are marked with, I think it says community, just down there, let me take a look. Yeah, it definitely says community and I do not see any other marks in there. So I do believe that all the silver pieces that I've been finding so far, which have been happening for several years now, all of these are uh, that are marked community are basically uh, plated, although it doesn't say anywhere that these are plated. So let's just take a look up close that's how it looks you have this nice pattern here and you see this black mark here this is tarnish it's not washable and i think on the back it's not there but just in the front and this i believe happened from the rubber bands because this was like a pack of i think three spoons together that i picked it up from a store usually i would pay for a pack like that maybe three to four dollars sometimes five actually i do remember for some of these i did pay more than that maybe up to eight dollars for the bigger pieces but the smaller ones they sell fairly cheap cheap so that's that's the piece and then we have the spoon as well same idea same mark here and we have same black tarnish just right here from the rubber bands as well and right here it does say community so you're going to be making uh, maybe several marks with this we'll use some of these teeth here and maybe we'll do just the back here and for the spoon as well we'll do the front and we'll do the back right here so let's start we'll make several marks and see how it's going to come out First mark, I'm gonna try to go a little bit longer and make a bigger mark just so we get some of that surface metal off on the stone and then we're also gonna get some metal underneath the surface metal to see if we can get some more realistic results. There you go, that's this tooth right here. Now let's do, we'll do the back, so it seems to be like a one solid piece. There we go. Let's see if we can get some more of this metal in here. I'm going to try to keep it as consistent and together as possible. Just so we can get a nice read after this. There we go. That's this piece here. Now let's do the spoon as well. We'll do the same idea. We'll do the front and then we'll do the back right here. All right. First mark. Somebody told me back in time that they have found spoon or a set I guess that was marked community and there was no indication that it was silver and there was no indication that it was plated. There you go, this is the mark. I'll go back to the story in a second and we'll do the back as well. So anyway, I was told that I have found the set that said community on it and it was solid silver so there was no markings on it it's literally just set community and they actually told me that they have cut one of the pieces in half they opened it and they tested it outside and the inside and the set was the set was solid silver that was i guess partly the reason that i picked this up i'm hoping that it is but who knows until you test you don't know so we'll see i did a pretty deep marks here so we'll take a look what this is i'm gonna be using my 18 karat gold acid today Let's see what we're gonna get here. First drop on the first mark, maybe one drop at a time. Okay, that did not turn blue. Second drop, not turning blue. Actually, this one kind of turned white. That's really weird. First drop on the third mark, and first drop on the fourth mark. Okay, these are interesting results. Okay, so it looks like the teeth from the fork did not turn out to be anything. But the body for both fork and spoon seem to be pretty solid. I do like that. It still could be plated, but that's what we're getting here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think this is real? Do you think this is plated? Maybe it's a triple. That's what we get there. Interesting. So definitely silver. And I did press it pretty hard. Those are pretty big marks. It stays pretty solid. Not much got eaten away maybe some of it got eaten i'm just looking at the middle mark here i think that that's the one that got eaten the most the second one looks pretty solid where it was and the third one as well sorry the fourth one third one is kind of i mean it looks solid it's just not not as together so there we go very interesting let's just see maybe we should drop some acid silver acid on one of these here to see what that's gonna do let's do the fork put fork aside let's do the spoon we'll put silver acid in here and let's see what that's gonna do okay gonna be using my silver acid for this let's see what's gonna happen here one drop 
Okay, so far I do not see any kind of difference there. Just bring it up a bit. I see it's getting a bit red, just a tiny bit, but it's just sitting there. I think it's getting more red color. Definitely see a lot more red. Oh wow, a lot more red. Okay, do not see anything green. Do not see anything dark. Just see a lot more red. Oh wow, quite a bit more red. I'm looking for that green and I do not see it. It's still very red. Okay, I think I'm starting to see a bit of green or gray. Okay, definitely red started to disappear. And we are seeing, well, red is still there. It's kind of getting more green, I guess. Red and gray. Red is disappearing more and more. Definitely disappearing a lot. Still see quite a bit of red there, but it's not as blood red as it should be. So maybe this is some heavy duty thick layer of plating, or maybe this is a triple. That's some consistent red. Probably already, what, what is it, maybe 30 seconds or so? Okay, so now red is kind of disappearing and becoming gray. Definitely less and less red. Looks kind of blue grayish maybe. A bit of blue, a bit of gray. Yeah, red almost disappeared completely. Interesting result, isn't it? Yeah, definitely no red. Basically just a bunch of gray and maybe a little bit of blue. There we go. Those are the results. I will say this is not the solid silver. This thing is heavily plated, probably maybe a triple, but definitely a lot heavy duty plating on it. And it's a higher quality plating, I will say. If it took 30 seconds to choose through, that's, that's quite a bit. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.